Another question parents ask is, how do we know vaccines are safe? Vaccines are evaluated for safety in three ways. First, vaccines cannot be given to any child in the United States until they are first approved or licensed by the Food and Drug Administration. In order to be licensed, the vaccine must be evaluated in a laboratory and then in thousands and thousands of children over a period of many years. Because vaccines are intended for healthy children, they are held to the highest standards of safety. The next step in the approval process for these vaccines is the recommendations. These recommendations are made by three different groups who work closely together. For more than 20 years, I've worked with two of these groups. And I can tell you that when the doctors and public health professionals and scientists study and analyze the information, we ask three basic questions. First, does the vaccine work? In other words, does it prevent the disease? Secondly, is the vaccine safe? And third is, do we have all the information we need to answer these questions of vaccine safety and effectiveness? But the guiding principle, the bottom line, is would we give this vaccine to our patients, our children, and our grandchildren? If the answer is yes, then we recommend the vaccine. Things that we're most concerned about is Although vaccines selection. usually are tested in tens of thousands of children before approval, that still may not be enough to detect very, very rare side effects. For that reason, we do something called post-licensure monitoring. The Centers for Disease Control and the Food and Drug Administration regularly send out a reporting form to doctors and nurses, which they can use to report any health problems that they think might be caused by vaccine. This is called the Vaccine Adverse Events Reporting System, or VAERS. Parents also can report to VAERS. But VAERS and other studies are only two of the many ways by which the safety of vaccines is monitored.